Today's video is taken from a tool engagement course on our website. This video is video one in a nine part series looking at the step over values and tool engagement angles used in the dynamic milling toolpath. If you would like access to this free course, there's a link below that will take you to a sign up page. I want to take a deeper look at the dynamic mill operations and uh, specifically the step over values used inside of them. So basically on screen here, I've got a, a mill machine selected. Uh, I've got a really basic rectangle drawn up six by four. And we're going to throw a dynamic milling operation onto it. First, I'm going to do a from outside style of machining. So basically approaching this, this feature like it's a face of a part that we're going to machine everything off with a... Uh, High speed operation. I am going to select a half inch end mill. Let's make sure I'm set to flat here. Uh, speeds and feeds are not important. The only thing I'm really concerned about is step over. I'm going to set that at uh, 50 thou, so 10%, and make sure this is all set at zero. I'm going to turn on arc filtering for now just because I want a little less tool path to work with later. Okay. So it'll take a couple seconds to generate here. And there's our dynamic mill toolpath. Again, this is from outside, so it's facing away all the material. If I step into a back plot here kind of quickly, you can see it's starting from the outside and working its way in. So basically what I wanted to point out here is the difference between this, the what can be perceived as the step over of this operation uh, given the location of the tool path that it's in. So this is a half inch tool. So out here we can see the distance between the two uh, well parallel uh, tool paths here. So I'll go into uh, analyze distance and I'll analyze the distance between this part of the tool path right there and then this part of the tool path which should be the next cut over right there. Uh, basically we're about, it's close to 50 thou, slightly less, but that could just be because my snap points are a little bit off, but it gets the idea anyways, we're about 50 thou. So over here you can see things look much bigger. So if I come over to this section of the tool path and I measure from say that point there over to the next part of the tool path right there. Again, I might be off by a tiny, tiny bit, but basically we're getting a step over of about 200 thou. So that's a lot bigger than the 48 or 49 thou we had over here. And it's a lot bigger than the value that we put into our tool path of 50 thou. So what's what's going on? So basically, uh, in a nutshell, uh, I think what MashCam has done is it's simplified this field for us. So basically what's happening in this tool path is it's not maintaining a consistent step over. What this tool path is in fact doing is maintaining a specific engagement angle of the cutter. So we might be able to see this a little bit better if we hop into a back plot and turn on this uh, little quick verify button here. And this leaves a little orange trail as it goes around. And what you can kind of see, if I zoom in, is this part of the cutter here, right here is actually doing the cutting. So that part of the cutter right there is engaged into material. Um, so as I keep going around, basically what should be happening is this portion of the tool that's engaged, if we make that into an angle from the center of the cutter to the start of the cut, center of the cutter back to what was cut, that angle there should be consistent, relatively consistent. So when the step over started to get really big, it was closer to the inside of this part in this area here, and specifically on the ends, so even though we've got a really large step over here, about 200 thou, you can see we're still pretty consistent with that angle of the cutter that's actually engaged. Now this is not the best, best way to really look at this because you're just kind of saying, well, yeah, but that's just what it looks like from this orange back plot to what's not orange. So is there a better way we can explain this and what's happening? So let's get into this a little bit deeper with what tool engagement is, how it's calculated and how it differs and not only when you're cutting apart from outside in, but if you're cutting apart from inside out. 